So Jonathan's been working here a little over a year now, and I figured it'd be a good time to go through his tool collection, his tool cart, well, the tools that he's uh, amassed and collected here within the last year. Um, you didn't own any of these tools when you first started here. You just nope. had some basic tools. So kind of going over here, we've got the U.S. General Full Bank Service Cart. Is that what they call it? Um, seriously, top of the line quality. That is tool truck quality cart. Um, it's got the rubber bumpers on it. Super durable. The drawers open and close nicely on it. I'm very impressed with this cart. It's, that's a very high quality cart. Um, we did do a tour when we got this cart and he started out with the master mechanic set. I think they called it by Quinn, which is something that Harbor Freight sells that they had given him. And he's kind of added to that and supplemented, but that gave him, do you remember how many pieces were in that set? Yeah, I don't remember what it was. It, it's, it had everything though, half inch drive, uh, three eighths, quarter inch, sockets, wrenches, it, it, had, it was a very good introductory basic set of tools. So just kind of going through on your cart, why don't we start on the lid with what you've got. This is stuff that you use a lot. Use these every single day, Icon flex head ratchet wrenches. And then all the snap on picks because they're green and the <laughs> mini pry bars and screwdrivers. And these mini pry bars really come in handy. You don't want to break your screwdriver off when you need something small like that. Snap on guide knows when you use your screwdriver as a pry bar. <laughs> and then the Quinn 12 point set. We have a lot of 12 point bolts on the Detroits, so you have to use the 12 points. And then these are magnetic rails that are just stuck to there, and those are from Harbor Freight. Yep. And then the snap on magnetic pads that hold the tools on there. And he never closes the lid on this, it's always open on there. And the magnets are. They're very strong. Solid. It's, that stuff is super, super strong. And then your magnetic getter thing. This is mm -hmm. what blue point, point. Yeah. step on guy, a little magnet on the end of it there. You can bend it in any shape. Those are really nice. And then going into his drawers here, screwdrivers, pry bars. Those are all tucked in. Tucked in. And those are long, right? Big one, 30, put tires on. 36 inches, something maybe. Something. And they do have the striking caps on the end of them. He definitely has a lot of tech in tools as well here. Mm -hmm. And then the snap-on snap -on screwdriver set. And I do because like they're the, green. These are <laughs> because they're green, but yeah, but these handles, I do like them yeah. with the but Harbor Freight has a similar handle to that too, I think. You can get a little bit more turn on them. Yeah, you can throw a wrench on them to tighten stuff down. And then impact sockets there. This is all half-inch drive impacts. Mm -hmm. Is the whole thing is it, are these three eights over here? No, these are half inch. Even this one? Yeah. Okay, so everything's half inch. Yeah. So those are... These are half inch. Uh, icon, swivel. Built in, so you're not putting like this on there. Makes little it a little universal. more compact. Yeah. It's a little bit of space saving when you have that all in one. Up to an inch and a quarter. And then tech bins, impact, half inch drive set that goes up to an inch and a half. And down to 5 sixteenths. And then what are the, is this, is this yeah. still part of that set yeah. or? Yeah. Oh, just oh, so you got the deep, deep well and the shallows. The shallows. These, yeah. these are these bolt Yeah. But they're on a magnetic Harbor Freight. No, the, oh, these are the tech. tech these are the tech. Yeah. These are the ones you have to twist to get them off. Yeah. Which, it's nice that it keeps them in place, but it's slightly annoying sometimes, you said, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then Quinn and Icon Mixture. Yeah, the Quinn set came with a lot of this yeah. stuff here. That we don't use adapters. a whole lot here. Yeah, and adapters and extensions. Some of those are Icon, some are mm -hmm. Quinn. And then I do like these. Easy to read. They're very easy to read. What size? My eyes don't work so good, and nobody makes a, the side of a socket very easy, yeah. easy to read anyways. Um, these are Quinn, so, these are Icon, and Quinn. So Quinn, so Icon, Quinn. Yeah. And then all of your ratchets that you got in there, those are all icons? Icon. Yep, Icon and, flex and heads. They're all flex heads or? Uh, so did the steel guy. And then you got a breaker bar in there. Is that breaker bar one of the part those of the are, Quinn? Yeah, close. Part of the Quinn set. And then our map gas torch mm -hmm. that we use a lot. Gloves, he wears gloves a lot. His 
Is that Red Bull? Red Bull. Red Bull holder during the day, beer holder at night when he's working on his truck. Sponsor. <laughs> what? Sponsor. Yeah, give him a sponsor. What, what beer company do you want to sponsor? Or is it uh, Red Bull? <laughs> both. Uh, this is your plier drawer. Um, what do we got These here? These are all protected thin. Except for the Except for Kinebex. The, yeah. Um, Cobras we use around here a lot. Yeah. He's got the nice handles on them too. These are, Our, uh, Icon. Icon makes a set yeah. like that that are very, very nice too. More, I think. Here's some Icon hose picks that are in here. Mm -hmm. We use these a lot too. And these are nice because they have a little hole in there. So when you clamp it on there, you take some and. Yeah, he really, really can tighten that down. You, you, you can get vice grips super out. tight with that. Those are tectons? Mm hmm. Does anybody else have the hole in the end like that? I, no. I don't know that I've seen I that just before. Have a little grip so you can yeah, he, he clips it on where you clip it on kind of tight where you can still grip it and then you crank it a little extra further and it really gets tight. It's great for like rope getting out when the stud's so coming out. If you got to hold the stud in place and you want the stud to stay, that mm -hmm. works great for that. And then was this all part of the Quinn set yeah. here with the Allens? Yeah, oh, Just one thing here, he has no metric stuff at all in this tool box whatsoever because we don't work on anything here metric. All these vintage buses that we have here, everything is just standard SAE. The only thing that he does have metric in here are these, because when you strip out an Allen, sometimes the metric, the next size will go in there and, and many times that'll save our butts. And then those are Doyle, the brand on there. Probably wanna get a few more uh, adjustable crescent wrenches. This is the wrench drawer. Well, Pittsburgh uh, service wrenches. Those are nice, you can whack them with a hammer. Yeah. And big sizes for a little wrench. Yeah, you can tell which ones get used and which ones don't necessarily, but we use those a lot. When Especially. We, we have lots of, of, you know, inch and an eighth, inch and sixteenth, mm. inch and a quarter. So these may look small to you, but, um, you know, that's an inch and a sixteenth on there. And you can't get a full size wrench a lot of times in places, but if you can hit those with a hammer, um, you usually get them. I come and grab these all the time. Mm -hmm. These are the tectons as well. They're super long flex head ratcheting six point wrenches. Um, we put a lot of torque on those two and we actually did break one of them once. Mm -hmm. Stripped out one, put a little too much pressure on it. Um, but they replaced it right away. It's all lifetime warranty. That's a cool little thing there that you put on a, a breaker bar to extend a wrench. So if you had this wrench on something and you wanted a lot more leverage on it, put that on there there and then put a big breaker bar on it and now you got a four foot long wrench so it does come in very handy we have a lot of fasteners on buses that you cannot get a socket on so we, we use lots of wrenches and this wrench set here from Tekton goes all the way up to inch and a quarter and the, we these right here you can see inch and an eighth that that thing gets used mm -hmm. and then you got these short the little tiny ones too and then icon crossfit yeah the crossfits are really nice to have Snap on. That's, I love, I, yeah. I have that as well in my toolbox, the strap wrench, and it's two sizes, so you can put a half inch on one end and three eighths on the other. Only way to remove a filter. Yeah. Best way to remove. Filter. Best way to remove a filter. We have so many different sizes. A lot of guys that work in an auto shop, you know, they might have just one or two filter cups they can get away with. Hammer and Punches and chisels. Yeah, the hammer drawer is important. We use hammers a lot. I know you really like mm -hmm. the, Wilton bearing. the Wilton sledges on there. A couple modified tools that are in here. He's got a short handle little sledge. <laughs> and then of course- Unexpected short handle. Yeah, the, the cut off little uh, chisel heads there. He uses that a lot. Um, and he's got an extra set of chisels in there just in case he needs to cut a chisel because sometimes they're too long for us. We use a lot of chisels. We're always hammering away at stuff. I have the same hammer, different color, snap-on, uh, dead blow. It's very nice. That's probably my favorite go-to, just pick up and go hammer. Dead blows and, and then this is something you use a lot. <laughs> I've got Dunes. like three of them in my box and then he, he bought one too. But yeah, that's the impact. You hit it with a sledgehammer and it, it gets a lot of stuck fasteners by impacting, you know, the screw, screw tip stuff. And we have a lot of standard and, and Phillips head stuff that needs that. He needs to get Tekton to sponsor him because he's got mm -hmm. a, he's got a lot of Tekton Tekton tools. Uh, just kind of a miscellaneous drawer, O-rings, 
so just clamps. Uh, grease fittings. fittings, we change a lot of cotter pins. Easy. Most of that's kind of Harbor Freight type stuff. Yeah, all of this is. Uh, that's Harbor Freight. Yeah. Is For that? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's Harbor Freight. That's Harbor Freight. This sounds right. That's Harbor Freight. And then this is somebody else, just mm -hmm. more grease fittings. Those are the ones that we don't really use it, I think. Yeah, all the. We, we use. It's much cheaper to buy a whole set like this than if I try to order them from my distributor guy. Uh, NECs, high temperature stuff, straps, markers, paint, electrical tape. I, this this is a two inch wide, I think is what it is. Electrical tape that comes in really handy for stuff. More map gas, torque wrench. Sanding bits, tips. The best thing for a die grinder. Yeah, where's that set from? Amazon. Amazon, which is a die grinder set. That's a More gloves. Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh, half inch drive. Torque wrench. And he's got quite a Milwaukee collection. So he's got the. The Sawzall, the half inch impact, the half inch stubby impact, that angle die grinder. I use that tool. I borrow his all the time. I don't have that. I have a different die grinder, but I like that one. Uh, and then the cordless ratchet that's in there too. So he's got quite a bit of Milwaukee stuff. He already had Milwaukee batteries for his weed eater and other mm -hmm. stuff like that. I think that's why he mostly stuck with the Milwaukee stuff. Okay. And then you've got some other text. Tecton toolkits that you bought. Um, on the road. So when we're traveling and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even cover all those magnetic parts trays. Are those all Harbor Freight, mm. US General? Yep. Yeah. Uh, good pair of leather work gloves. But uh, what is that? Quarter inch drive, three eighths, and then half inch? Yep. Half inch set goes up to what? Uh, inch and five sixteenths. And then down to three eighths. Okay. And then metric as well. They're nice travel sets. Yeah, those have SAE and metric. Yeah. Uh, so he uses those when he works on his truck and stuff like that too. Um, so we, that's the only metric stuff he has that are in those sets mm -hmm. there, but nothing in this tool cart. And it's pretty full with just SAE stuff. But uh, that's that's his collection that he's amassed in the last just over a year. He, it's a year and like a week that he's been here. I'll post a video, or I'll link it right now. I'll put a clip at the end of this of when we first got this box set up. You can see it a year ago, how he, what, he, what he started with that Quinn set and how empty this box was. And you can see what he's added to it within the last year. That'll be fun. So here is his cart when he first got it. Uh, he bought all that Icon stuff. He wanted you know good quality ratchets and stuff. And then he got that Quinn set as a starter set, 428 pieces is what it was. Um, it was a really good set for st somebody starting out. One thing to point out too is that he has no tool debt. He didn't open an account with any of the tool trucks. He doesn't, you know, he's paid for everything as he went along. So to actually own all of your own tools and not owe a lot of money and interest and other stuff too is really important. Uh, but this was his, looking back at his box, just, you know, less, just less than a year ago. That's kind of crazy. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 